All right, covering all the action for us tonight from the war on the eastern shore is our own Dacian Smith. Dacian, a lot of buildup going into this one, and it rarely disappoints. And man, you could say that for tonight's game, couldn't you? Hey, absolutely, Hal. You said it best. It's called the war on the eastern shore for a reason. It's a big 7A matchup. Daphne, Fairhope, everybody wants to win this game each year. This Tonight's game did not disappoint at all. Take a look. And with that, the war on the Eastern Shore is on. Daphne versus Fairhope for the 33rd time. Fairhope starts with the ball. Quaylen McCants takes the handoff, gets hit immediately, and loses the ball. Daphne recovers and turns it over to their offense. Daphne starts fast. Caden Pierce unloads it deep to Richard Cleveland. He fights through the contact and sets the Trojans up with first and goal. Fairhope's defense holds the Trojans to a field goal, and Daphne takes a 3-0 lead early in the first quarter. Fairhope's next drive stalls at the 31-yard line. Luke Freer drills a 47-yard field goal to tie things up at three. On to the second quarter, Tyler Bradley bounces it to the outside before getting knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line. Next play, Bradley finishes what he started. He takes it up the middle for the touchdown. Trojans up 10-3. Next drive for the Trojans at the Fairhope 28-yard line. Nick Clark takes the handoff, and he's gone for the touchdown. Daphne takes a 17-3 lead. Time winding down in the half. Trojans backed up deep in their own territory. Pierce trying to make something happen, but he's intercepted by Amir Adams, and it's a pick six to bring it within seven. The Trojans take a 17-10 lead into halftime. Hey, and Fairhope would come back, pouring it on in the second half. This game had to go to overtime. Fairhope pulls it out in the end, 38 to 31. The cup is coming back in here to Fairhope. Now we caught up with head coach Tim Carter, who couldn't stop talking about the fight of his team. Take a listen. Oh, absolutely. These guys are resilient. I mean, we put them through a lot in the winter and the spring trying to build that image, and they got it naturally. And I tell you what, they love each other, and they play really hard together. Hey, and as you can tell, the game just ended a little bit ago. The celebration is still on. Fairhope, the cup is coming back here thanks to these guys. Again, they pull it off 38 31. The war on the Eastern Shore lived up to the hype. These guys are excited. They're partying all night long. Hustling how? A lot to be proud of here in Fairhope. Definitely one that everybody's going to remember for the rest of the season. Now, can you guys top that for the rest of the night? How the rest of the night go? <laughs> Dacian, I don't know, but as you said, these guys are partying. What a battle down on the bay tonight. You had a great one.